I think the thing that I love the most about AI technology is it has this ability to break down barriers for creative minds, and I am one such creative mind. You see, I've got this idea for a music video. However, I lack the technical skills to create both the music and the video, but that is where AI comes in. So first up, I'm going to be using Udio AI Music Generator to create the music. In my opinion, right now, at this very moment in time, Udio is the best AI music music generator, however, Suno AI is very close along. I'm not going to get too far into detail on how the music creation process went, let's just say it took a very long time. The song that I got is a little bit melancholic, a little bit alternative rock, but I think it kind of has like a beautiful aspect to it. Obviously, tried to keep it meta and the song is kind of about AI. And now the fun part about this is for the music video, I'm going to be using LTX Studio. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of AI video generators cropping up as of late, but LTX Studio is the only one who actually has a user interface and a framework for storyboarding and planning out something like a music video. There's not another platform out there quite like it, and I think it easily serves as a pretty great place to put this music video together. Oh, and LTX Studio did decide to sponsor this little video idea I had, which is pretty awesome because it allows me to explore creative avenues like this that I wouldn't typically do on this channel. So thank you LTX Studio for being today's sponsor. Sponsors are the reason that I can do this channel full time. Breaking down the music creation itself simply, I used Udio AI which generates about 30 seconds at a time. And with those 30 seconds, you can create multiple extensions. So after extension and extension and extension, I eventually released a final song here, which I titled Questions from the Future, which in total took about eight different extensions to finally end up with. But the song came out pretty good. The song itself is a sort of melancholic, melodic mix in this alternative rock format, a little bit reminiscent of Radiohead, and most importantly, I wanted the song's theme to be on point with both my channel and where I think we are in terms of AI technology. Essentially, the song is about how we are disconnected right now from what the future is going to be in regards to AI, at least in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and listen to the song. Tally up the cost 
And yet we crave a simple touch A warmth beyond the page In a maze of light and code We wander lost and cold Our echoes ring in spaces void Our senses left on hold a future painted pixel thin We search for what remains But all we find are echoes faint Reflections in the glass The future whispers softly With questions we can't ask Synthetic Hearts and minds, we wander through the haze Longing for a time and place The warmth of yesterdays What do you think? Not too bad, right? I understand it's probably not everyone's taste and it's not the most popular genre in the world, but I thought it was fun and it's something that I personally enjoyed. Now, time for LTX Studio. I want to create an epic music video for this song. So breaking this down, what is LTX Studio anyways? LTX Studio is a from-the-ground-up AI-focused storytelling platform. This means that any vision, any creative spark has the ability to be explored and visualized through LTX Studio. As I stated in the intro, it is kind of the perfect platform for our project today because in the beginning of my creation process, I kind of had a rough idea for what I wanted to convey with the music video and by using LTX to prompt the storyboard and subsequent their more precise creative tools, I not only fleshed out my creative idea, but I was able to fully bring it to life. And I think the favorite thing that I noticed about the platform as I was using it was that it allowed me to kind of explore different avenues and move and edit things on the fly. You see, my traditional creative background is indeed editing things in a typical video editor, but this, like I said, is from the ground up AI focused, meaning there are new novel ways of creative ideation and exploration that can be found here. So, like I said, the first thing I did was use the LTX prompt bar to create kind of a rough outline for the music video, and it gave me something that I didn't necessarily use a whole lot of, but it then sparked other creative ideas for what I actually wanted to do, so it kind of got the ball rolling. In the opening of the music video, I decided to go with a robotic character. Obviously, the song's kind of about AI, the channel's about AI, so it's only fitting to have some sort of a robot character. Character. At this time, LTX Studio doesn't exactly do very great consistent robot characters. I believe it's using some stable diffusion-esque model under the hood to generate images which then get transformed into videos, but thankfully they had a image upload so I could use Ideogram AI to generate the robot characters which I then input into LTX Studio and brought to life with the magic of AI-powered video. So about the actual AI video itself, when you're in the shot editor, they actually give you quite a few options in terms of camera motion. I found myself mostly using the scene and natural modes because it just gave me the most consistent AI video, and there's also a really nice scale slider that I could use to adjust how much motion is in the scene. They also let you generate up to 12 seconds of video, which was especially useful. I think every single clip I generated was 12 seconds long because it gave me the most flexibility in bringing my vision to life. One thing I noticed is how organized, the storyboard kept everything. Every set of frames that are a part of an overall scene in a storyboard are essentially based on location, lighting, and weather, so every time I needed to change location, change lighting, change weather, I more or less just went ahead and made a brand new scene, which in turn kind of helped me categorize everything. The whole introduction is categorized by itself, the, the part where the robot is exploring the abandoned houses is its own scene. Now, about halfway through my 
my video, we switch to a brand new character, which is named Aiden in the LTX Studio project. However, it's not really ever mentioned inside of the video itself, but his name is Aiden, and I know that because there is a cast setting here in LTX Studio, which allows me to make a consistent character. I would have done this for the robot too, but like I said, it mostly just works on humanoid people right now, but I was able to kind of define his appearance, his clothing, and what he looks like, and essentially just at him in every single prompt for all of his shots. It would make this very consistent character kind of come to life throughout the second half of my music video, and that made things quite a bit easier. Since all of the Aiden shots were generated directly in LTX Studio, I was able to specify the shot type, which also helped quite a lot, and a very specific prompt. So I gotta say, when you can do things in LTX Studio itself instead of importing a photo, I think that is definitely the best way to go. Now, let's be honest, guys, this AI technology is very new. We're kind of on the cusp of it. It's just starting to kind of enter that almost usable territory and creative projects like this music video can be brought to life. One thing I did struggle with a little bit is having human characters not warp too much as the video progressed, but one thing that LTX Studio does that is pretty awesome is they actually give you a preview of different seeds to show you what the motion is going to look like before you fully generate the video. So this allows me to get to that clean shot that isn't going to morph or change a whole lot much quicker. It's got to be one of the best things that is in LTX Studio right now, and other AI video generators need to follow suit with this, because it is such a huge help. Now, to kind of make the music video and attach it all together at the end of the day, I did want to do it in LTX Studio, but it's still in beta, so we're missing some features like a trim tool to trim shots to the right length, and I'm very picky with my music videos when it comes to when shots are cut and when they begin and all that, so I did end up stitching it together inside of an actual video editor, but one thing that's actually really nice is that LTX Studio actually does support this with the option to export to the XML format, essentially a way to export your LTX timeline into another video editor. But again, the whole process of creating the music video was done in LTX Studio and it's all organized in there. So it's safe to say that without this LTX Studio framework, I would not have been able to produce this music video in the way that I wanted. So now that you guys have a pretty good idea of how I put this music video together, why don't you take a look at the music video itself and let me know how you think. Remember, keep in mind this technology is still in beta, this technology is just coming out, so it's not going to be perfect, but I think it's really, really intriguing and you gotta imagine, where will this be in one or two years? Check it out. We 